Hello and welcome everyone on Brightest Stick and today's video I do have the ZTE Blade Z Max and I want to show you how you can do the hard reset in case if you have a Patreon pin password and you have no access to it and you want to do a factory reset so let's go ahead and show you step by step what you have to do Now before we go through these steps, I want to explain to you two main things. First thing, if you do the factory reset or the hard reset, that means everything on your phone is going to be erased and you're going to lose all the information unless if you have already a backup. Second thing, when you do the factory reset, also you need to log in with the same Gmail account if you have one that's already associated with your account. So you make sure to log in with the same Gmail account. Other than that, you're not going to bypass the activation screen. Now, you need to have this phone be completely off in the time of doing the hard reset. Doing hard reset, why we do this? Because in a lot of cases, we have no access to the phone. We can't open or unlock the phone. I have pattern, pin number, or fingerprint. So that way, you're going to do these steps, and this will enable you to bypass all that so what we need from the right there is a volume up and power so you need to push those at the same time and then when the phone show you ZTE logo just go ahead and release your finger from the power and keep it on the volume up let's go ahead and do this together if you see in ZTE just release your finger and don't let it go from the volume up Now we are successfully went to the bootloader mode and then you just have to select through the volume up and down. This is how you go up and down and then select wipe data factory reset. Let me just make it more clear to you and then by the power button go ahead and just select and then they're going to give you another message. So you need to confirm the whole process. Just say yes by, by hitting on the power and then your phone is going to format. It's going to show you now it's erasing everything and then they're going to give you a reboot or boot the system now just go ahead also click the power key and you should be there now your phone fresh back as brand new but as i said make sure to use the same gmail account that associated this account that was very much it for that video please guys subscribe more on variety stick for more content plus don't forget to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to hit in that bell so that way every time I post a video you don't miss it. We'll talk to you in the next one.